statistics, graphical representation. Cumulative frequency distribution. The cumulative frequency of a class interval is obtained by adding the frequency of that class interval and the frequencies of all preceding class intervals up to that class interval. Consider the following data. The cumulative frequencies are calculated as shown. To obtain a less than cumulative frequency table, the previous table can be rewritten as follows. To obtain a more than cumulative frequency table, we add the frequencies in reverse order as shown. Ogive An ogive is a cumulative frequency curve. The curve usually has an S shape. We may draw a less than ogive or a more than ogive. Let's consider an example. Draw a less than ogive and a more than ogive for the following data. Less than ogive. The corresponding cumulative frequencies are calculated and tabulated as shown in the table given. Now we need to plot the ogive. The points are plotted with abscissae as actual upper limits of the classes and ordinates as the corresponding cumulative frequencies. So the points are 10, 10,2, 20,7, 30,21, 40,33, 50,40. 40. Join the points by a smooth curve. The ogive is connected to a point on the x-axis which represents the actual lower limit of the first class. More than ogive. The table with the cumulative frequencies is as shown. To plot the ogive, the points are plotted with abscissae as actual lower limits of the classes and ordinates as the corresponding cumulative frequencies. So the points are 0, 40, 10, 38, 20,33, 30,19, 40,7. Join the points by a smooth curve. The ogive is connected to a point on the x-axis which represents the actual upper limit of the last class.